dog. Fall guys. I'm glad you remind me. I forgot about Fall Guy, bro. I forgot about Fall Guy. And why you not sleep, man? You know you supposed to be asleep right now. Night by getting you, dog. Night by getting you. Night by don't like that. to do next bro let's just go into a game let's just show off your favorite team in the city and be rewarded with two time run. what this dude got on bro I don't even know like what to uh I don't even know where to go, what to do, man. I ain't, I gotta stop. I got, I'm gonna start playing the game more. Get some fresh water. What you say, dog? I was, oh, uh, let me blow my print up so I can read it. I was having the time of my life, bro. I got 16 ice wins in a row, man. You gonna make me, yeah, I need to get back on dog. I'm, I'm glad you remind me of Fall Guys. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna work it in. I'm gonna work Fall Guys, man. Thin ice, yeah. I need to go look over there and see see what it's looking like over there. Alright, bro, like how do I Yeah, play this game man? Key game, not key game, bro. Get me to the arena, bro. Oh, look at that billboard. Look at me at the arena. Look at that billboard. Where running 2K at? Oh, running 2K out, uh, in the game? Playing right now? Look at that arena. They got me on the billboard at the Toyota Center. All right, how I get up in here, bro? Get the hell out of the way. Oh, 
How do I get in the arena, bro? So I can play the game. Players only. Move out of the way, dude. Do he look like me? No. Do this guy? Do this, do this guy look like me? That guy don't look like me. That guy don't look like me, dog. Isn't the most recognizable athlete in the tri-state area. Do I miss thin ice? I mean, it's fun. I don't know if I miss it, but it's fun. I mean... I love seeing ice. I mean, it's fun. It's cool. Hi, hey, how you doing in football? Are you guys winning games? You going to the playoffs? Let me concentrate on my treadmill. Gotta have a rhythm. Gotta focus. That's good enough. Gotta do my exercise before the game.
Come on. Forget it, bro. Harder than it looks. It's harder than it looks. I think this is the last exercise. This stuff hard to do, man. All right, get me out of here, bro. They sure know how to make this stuff time consumer, don't they? Ah, look at that boy got them Jordan 3's on. That boy clean. Boy, alright. Oh my god. Damn, 
on, bro. Damn, bro, you guarding me like he in the game for real. Let, let me get by you so I can get the layup, bro. This is practice, like Allen Iris would say. This is practice. Practice. Practice, bro. Hey, D Dox, you still playing uh, Fortnite, D Dox? There we go. Okay. You giving it a risk. How many drills can I do? What other shit should I do? For a short time after receiving a pass. Come on. Uh, I think I did good. I don't know. I think I did good, man. That's all I can do for the day. Boost the effectiveness of pull ups and spin shots from the mid range. player icons then press the card button open team mate duh I know that'll do that that's it you better make it damn triangle I'm screwing up big time bro Come on, bro. Triangle. Come on. 
Come on, bro. They making it hard, bro. Alright, it's time to play a game, man. Boost the effectiveness of pull ups and increase the ability to make jump shots when defenders fail to properly contest. Boost the shooters' mid range and three point builds when trailing in the game. I don't know. Give us additional shoot boosts when successfully achieving excellent releases. Okay. We can do that. Attempt the highest score possible while practicing your shot. Every shot attempt you take will be greater from 0 to 100. If you're having trouble from the outside, you can try hook shots. Damn. I'll take it. This is a tedious process here, bro. Team practice is ending for the day. All right, let's go play a game. Shoes. I want to get two games in, shit. They got a poster of me. Where my poster at? That's a, oh, there I go. Laura Young, get from in front of my poster, bro. Get from in front of her. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. All right, we ain't got time for all of it. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for live from the Toyota Center. This is Brian Anderson. Joined for text by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Ali LaForce. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. The core of the Warriors dynasty on the floor. I don't buy the cat. The guard with Draymond at the four. Kevon Looney is out there with Andrew Wiggins. 
And for the Rockets, Brooks and Smith make up the two forwards. Fred Van Vliet out there with MP. And it's Shangoon in at the center position. So much has been made about MP joining this team, Grant. But if you talk to him, he knows it all comes down to winning. And yeah, that's the mentality he needs to have. Everyone wants him to win and win fast. But ultimately, players like MP are judged by how many rings they collect. And they got me guarding uh, Clay Thompson. A talented young forward with a bright future, Clark. Really excited about his future because he does everything smoothly and easily. Good IQ. I think he just needs to add a little strength to really optimize what he has in his package. Here's Curry. After the Rockets picked up a basket a moment ago. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Curry. They go Curry with that razzle dazzle dribble. Offensive rebound. Outside for Green. The three is up. And the Warriors miss again. And so it's Van Vliet with it. He brings it up for the Rockets. First chance of the year for them to go up against this Warriors team. Their first try against a familiar club. It should be a good one. Yeah, you know, these are two rival teams that will see each other a fair amount this season. We'll see which team can tip it off with a win. They're just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this... Let me move my camera. Why did nobody tell me I was blocking the score? I didn't nobody tell me that. Oh, well, I'm moving myself around. Oh, whoa, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. Early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Green. Back to Curry. Green, a screen. Let's go with a three. And the call will be against Alperon Shangun. That's his first foul of the game. And here's Thompson for three. Sinks it from distance. Oh, man. Took a little time, but they get one to go. Maybe they're warmed up now. The Rockets on offense. Coming into this, having knocks to win against San Antonio in their last game. They were so consistent from the three-point range in that one. And that's a nice weapon to have as a visiting team. Yeah, you know, the defense had no answer for it. To do that kind of damage on the road, impressive. All right, Clark, so what are your feelings about the back-to-backs? You like them? How about the players? You know, I don't mind them. But Why they got me guarding Steph Curry, like bro? They have few of those in their schedule, so being creatures of habit, a little space between games more times than not would be well received. Now here's Green, and there's Thompson on the assist. Come on, Green. bro. Thompson's got six. One of the most effortless strokes we've ever seen. Thompson can just make corner threes in his sleep. MP scanning the floor. Driving to the basket. Pass to Shangun. Van Vliet outside. Five on the clock. To the inside. Here's MP. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. And they Damn. In the steals category. That was terrible. A team you couldn't fall asleep against when handling the rock. And you mentioned they were the best team in the league when it comes to second chance points. Hustle was in their team DNA. Curry against Van Vliet. Looney the screen. And here's Curry for three. It's rebounded by Shangun. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. Well, Grant, the Rockets finished at the bottom of the Western Conference for three straight seasons and got some high draft picks as a result. And B.A., no one likes losing, but Houston has to be happy with the talented young prospects they've been able to select. It'll be interesting to watch their growth as individuals and as a team. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. 
Looney against Shangun. Here's Young. Oh, the offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Curry passes to Looney. Back to Curry. Green against Smith. Outside, Green. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And Curry is good for three. Curry's got five points. <laughs> He's getting out butt kick, bro. And the Rockets call time here. And a new group getting ready for the Rockets. Eason's checked in for Smith. Tate comes in. God, come on. Yeah, keep us in it, bro. Oh, we got Chris Paul. Come on, man. Brooks, he's checked in for Tate and MP subbed in for Porter Jr. Come on, I'm signing the Jordan brand. I got to do better. Two assists ain't going to get. Oh, they got me guarding Chris Paul. And we played through the first minute here in the second. And there's the call on Dylan Brooks. That's his first foul. Sharitz finds Paul. Now here's Curry. Sharitz a screen on Young. The three from Curry. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. We've got Alperon Shangun. Dylan Brooks is out there with Tari Eason. Then it's Green, and it's Young in a shooting guard. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Now here's Shingun. Why didn't he pass it, bro? Game against San Antonio. Why didn't he kick it back out? I was wide open. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. Smith, he's checked in for the Rockets. Looney is screened on green. Paul with it, guarded by Smith. The 11-footer. Shot clock at six. Paul can't get it to go. And just unable to get anything going tonight. I mean, his teammates have really bailed him out. Well, Grant and his Hall of Fame resume, just about the only thing missing for Chris Paul is the title. And he had a shot in Phoenix, but while Golden State perhaps not the favorites, with these other future Hall of Famers, I think the opportunity remains. Curry creates inside. Hey, inside Kill, Curry bro. has all the tricks. Loaders, scoop shots, fall aways, left hand, right hand. However, he has to do it, he will. Curry against Young. To the paint. Here's Smith. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Wow, an emphatic two handed slam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Okay, let's go. Last game for him, he picked up 10. And he hits it from 9 feet. Ball's got 4 points this quarter. Paul knows exactly which angle he wants to take on that shot inside. That just comes from great awareness. Smith with a screen on Curry. Young with it. Kuminga defends. Smith. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Smith's got 6. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Now a timeout called by Golden yeah. State. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. Yeah, they hit the court last game with some serious attitude, especially on offense. And, you know, confidence is key there. Um, they seem to play with a ton of it, especially on the offensive end. Let's keep it up. Checked in for the Rockets. Van Vliet comes in for Green. Draymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Curry. 
And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Pass to Wiggins. Back to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Here's Tom. No! Good job. The Warriors missing. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. Eason is straight on Thompson. Young with it. And it's Paul picking him up. Woo! Eason with the jam. Wish I could have threw an alley. This leader. MP is always looking to get his teammates involved out there. Paul passes to Wiggins. Thompson against MP. Back to Wiggins. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Brooks. Pass to Young. Dang, bro. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. The Rockets trail. Van Vliet finds MP. Inside. Eason, a screen on Thompson. Young from long range. Wow. And it goes! It's it. Big shot! Big shot. Monster Big shot, Bob. Into that deficit. It's anyone's game now. We hanging in there. Comes to an end. We hanging in there. Warriors ahead. They're up by three. Stay with the folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. We hanging in there, baby. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. Well, I think of Houston. Starting the season with two straight dubs, man. You know they want to keep that momentum going. And they have reason to be optimistic that it will continue. The more you win, the more confident you become. And now let's talk Golden State. They're in an even matchup through one half of play. I know what Shaq's going to say. Elbow sandwiches. Those guys are physical, and they control the glass. They gave the impression that they wanted it more, Shaq. To be honest, all I heard was sandwiches. When's the food getting here? Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson. No Charles Barkman. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. And Grant, these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. Kick it off the second half. Here's Steve Kerr's five. The core of the Warriors dynasty. Mid-match. Curry and Clay is the guard with Draymond at four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. Here's Curry. One point lead. We only down by one point. Pass to Looney. Can we get the lead for the first time? Green with the ball. Covered by first, we got to get a stop. We got to get a stop first. Green missing. And here are the Rockets now. It's a one point game. And Lead for the first time. It'll be Charlotte pulling in to face him. Smith with a screen on Thompson. Young attacking. And out of bounds. The Warriors will take it. 
All right, let's take a second to view the 2K leaderboard and look at last season's top scoring squad. The Warriors, second. Boy, they do an excellent job offensively. Most of the season last year, they were really in sync. A nice flow and rhythm to their offensive game. But anytime you score the points they did, it's about unselfishness and trusting each other. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It goes on Fred Van Vliet. And defenders really have to respect the shot of Curry. And as a result, he's able to get into the lane with his drives. And once again, Steph gets a trip to the free throw line. And so Curry nails both of them. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Bam! The Warriors leading. And for a while, it seemed the Warriors were maintaining a dual timeline approach. But not anymore, Grant. No, sir, B.A. The Warriors setting their clocks and calendars to coincide with their superstar. One Wardell step. Come on, man. Now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Fred Van Vliet went from undrafted to an NBA All-Star. He said, quote, individually, there's still a lot left I want to get done. But trying to chase that next championship is what I'm locked in on. That feeling trumps anything I've ever done in my life. Besides my kids, that's right up there as far as personal journeys and accomplishments. Brian? He's got it in the right order. Thanks, Ali. Shangun, a screen on Thompson. MP, the pass to Shangun. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. About to have double digit assist. Seventh assist of the game with that last one. Curry. I, I wonder, can I lead the league in assists? My rookie year. Down low. Here's Green. The shot misses. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. Outside Young for the tie. Hey. By Wiggins. The Warriors shooting just around 32% from the field. Thompson outside. Outside Curry. Back to Thompson. From deep three-point land. The kick out. Curry from outside the arc. 4-3. Stephen Curry. Huge night for Curry in a great rhythm thus far. That's always bad news for the team he faces. Eason's checked in for Shengu. And Golden State also making a switch. Paul's checked in. And here's Van Vliet. He'll bring it up for Houston. They trail by six. MP against Curry. Outside Young. Eason a screen on Curry. Pass to Eason. Mismatch. You got to make that. Eason's got seven points in the game. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Paul against Van Vliet. Looney passes to Paul. Now Wiggins. Thompson outside. To the middle. And there's Curry on the assist by Wiggins. Wiggins got his third assist of the night. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Van Vliet finds Young. A minute 20 left in the third. Down low. Here's Smith. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. The versatility of Smith on display there. And we're seeing it. I mean, he can act as a ball handler or the roller in the two-man game. Paul passes to Curry. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. He's got 18. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Here's Young. Smith with a screen on Curry. Young with it, and Looney picks him up defensively. And just a typical unselfish play from MP. He's got a really strong team mentality to his game. The Warriors have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Right wing. Shoots from the elbow. Paul can't get it to go. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. To the paint. Here's Young. Power move. Yeah! Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Let's tie it up. Almost automatic. Up top, Paul. Guarded by Van Vliet. 
The kick out to Wiggins. Fires for three. That's what we want shooting it. On the wing, Curry. Doesn't go for him. Smith right side for the lead. And no good. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Warriors. I should have kept it and shot it. Leading to nine points in the quarter. We'll be right back. I should have kept it and shot it. words for his players. Keep everything sharp. Keep the cuts hard. Cutting through contact. Passing sharp. And the ball's going to fall for us. We can't get... Now, Coach Kerr, all he's asking is that his... Oh boy. Are we winning? Rockets will go for a different look here. Smith, he's checked in for Eason. Dylan Brooks. Why they didn't put me back in? He's checked in for Green. And Fred Van Vliet is subbed in for Porter Jr. And the Warriors. Five points, ten assists. I'll here. take that. Looney's checked in for Sharich. Draymond Green comes in for Kaminga. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Payton. All right, it's our game. We got a D up. And let's send it over to Allen the Force. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. First and foremost, he wants to see more points on the break. He asked his team, where's the urgency? We know what we can do in transition. Now let's go out and do it. We'll see if they can pick up the tempo, guys. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Smith plays the four with Shingoon at the five. MP is out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Brooks in at the three, the small forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. The three from Curry. Oh, my God. Curry's got 15 points here in the second half. Van Vliet finds Young. To the inside, Smith, and the shot goes. And the Rockets lead by five. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. No more threes. Thompson passes to Looney. And here's Curry. Let's it go. Ah. Get the rebound. They making Looney look like Dennis Rodman. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Outside Young. Picked by Smith. MP, the pass to Smith. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Smith rising to the occasion. Making a play with no the more threes and get the rebound. One shot and get the rebound. One shot, get the rebound. Van Vliet against Curry. Wiggins outside. The kick out. Curry, Curry wide open. Bro. And the three pointer goes. Curry's got wide open, bro. Such a clutch shooter. He just lives for the big shot. Brooks against Wiggins. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Smith outside. Shangun, the screen. Here's MP. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And here's Curry. No threes. Looney, a screen on Van Vliet to take the lead. Curry, no good. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. 52 seconds left in the game. Looking cool at the line. MP doesn't seem bothered by the <laughs> The first one drops. And All right. Point lead. Second free throw. No good that time. He really wanted that one. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for the Warriors. They get it back. Back to Wiggins to tie it up. And Young pulls it down. No wonder he's been off the mark. He's been hanging in the background, somewhat uninvolved tonight. Shanguna screen on Thompson. Young with it, and Looney picks him up defensively. 
Smith passes to MP. He connects. The dagger. The dagger. The dagger. Big game. Big win. The Warriors call time here. Big win. They're down by five. Big win. Seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. This is a big win. Now, this is a big win. Good job. Sixteen seconds left in the game. Here's Wiggins. They get it again. Pass to Green. Thompson with it. Takes a three. It's good from beyond the arc. Oh, you talk about a cool customer right there. Thompson doesn't care if it's the first or last shot of a game. He's never shy about putting it up. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can. On we the about time. to lose. <laughs> and he's able to hit the second one. And that makes it a three-point lead. You know, one of the things I think that makes MP so fun to watch is how much fun he's having out there. You can tell the thrill of the game never gets I, I could have had a double-double. Who come out on top here. That's all right. We got the win. They have here at home today. We barely got away with it, but we got it. Ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. We did good. Let's see if they'll let me practice. If not, I'll just play another game. Damn, bro. Hey, 
Ineligible. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm practicing. That's the problem. Stop practicing. I kept pushing the practice button. I salvaged it a little bit.
Why don't I have a I don't even know how to what I how to do that. Greetings, everyone. Glad to have you here with us on this Wednesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burt, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. Here's the starting group for the Charlotte Hornets. In at the guard spots, Ball and Rozier. Up at the forward spots, it's Hayward and Bridges. And it's Williams at the center, locking down the middle. And for the Rockets, the pairing up front, Smith and Shangri. Young is out there with Fred Van Vliet, and it's Tate in at the three spot. These may not be the team's doors we see in the conference finals this year, 
but we can expect to think them to be a threat for years to come. Kevin, we say they're not going to advance to the conference final simply because of the lack of experience. Talent is not an issue. We are looking at what is likely the next generation. I didn't know they were tipping off. Carrying the sport forward. And boy, we are excited to see them. Now, here's Ball. Releases. Rebound by Smith. Young inside. Defended by Bridges. Pass to MP. Shengun with the screen on Bridges to the paint. And Shengun throws it down. Oh, that's a great setup by MP. This guy is as unselfish as they come. Ball kicks to Hayworth. Shoots over Tate. And that one, no good to start him off on the night. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Rockets. And last season, Greg, the Rockets tied for the league's second worst record. They expect a different outcome this go around. Yeah, their veteran additions, headlined by Fred Van Vliet, key to turning the tide, but also continued progression by their youngsters. What an exciting young star LaMelo Ball is. Already a fan favorite if he's in the open court. Look out. Now, here's MP. Smith sets the pick for MP. Back to Van Vliet. Latrey. Gotta make that, man. Bridges with the board. The Hornets have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Pass to Williams. Williams, a screen on Van Vliet. And really deep through that time. Ball's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, early in his career, LaMelo Ball has let you know I am dangerous from deep. The free ball is good. Shengun with a screen on Rozier. Young pass to Shengun. The basket good off the assist from Young. Shengun's got his second basket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Now, here's Ball. Five points in the game. Six to shoot. Bridges sets the screen for Ball. From outside, off the mark. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They trail by one. Getting their first look of the season at this Hornets team. Not exactly a game that everyone will be talking about here, but both of these teams can show flashes at times. We're seeing two teams that could be building more for the future, trying to instill a winning culture, and we'll see which team uh -oh. is in that direction. Now, here is what? Nine point game is last out. I thought he was going to make it. He did all that. Bridges kicks the ball. They froze it like that. I thought he was going to make it. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Houston. Van Vliet with it. Bridges covering. Young outside. Smith with a screen on Bridges. MP passes to Smith. Lee Paz was put in just the right spot. Now that's how you orchestrate the pick and roll. MP with the great feed there to his teammate. Last game for the Rockets, they picked up the win against the Warriors. And it's Rogier, top the key. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Houston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Shengun kicks to MP. One ten left here in the opening quarter. Takes it inside and slammed in by Smith. And in that two-man action, Smith can roll, pop out for a three. Really, he's got the defense. are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. Houston making some changes. Tari. So 
though an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Williams. Miles Bridges comes in for Washington. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Terry Rozier. And Ball subbed in for Nilakina. Miller against Young. MP strong inside. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Jayshon Tate out there with Tari Eason. And it's Young. Then it's Alperin Shangun. And it's Green in at the point. That's the five for Houston right now. Bridges finds Richards. To the wing on the left. Ball from long range. Eason grabs the board. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. Well, the last time GA the Hornets made the playoffs was back in 2016. And that was during Steve Clifford's first stint with the organization. I'm sure that played a factor in their decision to bring him back as head coach. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. The pass to Miller. The 10-footer finds the target. Miller's got five points now this quarter. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Young with the ball. Bridges covering. Eason. And you can see he just has a great overall feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Hayward looking around. Bridges outside. Charlotte needs to get a shot. Here's Ball. It's rebounded by Houston. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. And in that one, the offensive execution made the difference. They found and exploited the mismatch repeatedly. Well, it was certainly a game that their analytics people had to love breaking down. I thought they exposed every weakness in the defense. Here's Ball. Following the basket by MP. Bridges outside. Launches it. The rebound by Young. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Eason with a screen for MP to the middle. Foul Good job. Picks up two points. So one Good job. Coming up. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Houston. And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Smith comes in for Shangu. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Jalen Green. And it's Rozier missing. On offense, here are the Rockets. They're on an 11-2 run. Young against Miller. Easton, a screen on Miller. Young passes to Easton. And the dunk by Easton. A lot to like about the way they're playing right now, but still plenty of time left. You do like that the offense is humming along. They're putting in the effort to distance themselves. Shots good by Miller. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. MV outside. Smith sets the pick for MP. Inside, Smith packs in, coming off the assist from Young. MP's got his ninth assist in the game now. 24 seconds left in the first half. Nine assists in the first half. That's pretty good. And here's Miller outside. It's rebounded by Houston. Smith's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Van Vliet. Now, here is Young. Climbing the lane. Here's Smith with two seconds left. The shot, no good. 
And so it's the Houston Rockets in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. What the heck is mascot doing? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. A clinic in execution so far, is it? Well, you see they've caught fire with their shooting. And a big part of that is the shot selection. Getting the right guys. And okay, now let's see what's going on around the lead. Injury report. <laughs> Come on, we just keep it moving. Come on, let's keep it moving now. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Nice game, great performance so far by LaMelo Ball. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but... Boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Tipping off the second half, here's Steve Clifford's five. In at the guard spots, Ball and Rozier. Up of the forward spots, it's Hayward and Bridges. And it's Williams at the center position. And, Greg, we still see players embellishing contact. Is enough being done to discourage those creative flourishing? We're talking about flopping, right? I mean, we're seeing the league experiment assessing a technical free throw. It, it's necessary or guys will keep jerking their heads and falling down, and, and who wants to see that? Here's Young after the basket by Charlotte. Come on, bro. Smith wide open. He fires off target from outside. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Williams looking around. Pass to Hayward. Bridges a screen on Tate. Hayward the bounce pass. And when it comes to the Charlotte Hornets, DB, this is a squad that wants to keep getting better, clearly. Kevin, it shows you how challenging success and sustained success in particular is. This is an organization that has had pockets of success in the past. But the keys to this are, are you drafting well? Are you developing young talent? Have you built out a culture? Do you have top-down leadership that trickles through an organization? This is something Charlotte has to pick Double up. digit assist. And now let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. For Hornets coach Steve Clifford, the key is defense. He says trying to outscore other teams doesn't work. You have to do the things that take effort, like rebounding, getting loose balls, and putting your body on the line. You've got to build a game that will actually work at the end of the year when you play the important games. Kevin, back to you. All right, DA, our thanks to you. Now, here's Tate. Still scoreless. Smith sets the pick for MP. Down low. Smith gets it to go on the assist by MP. That's 12 points for Smith. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Ogier for three. Nailed. Come on, bro. Wow, what a start to this half. Three for three, dictating the pace on the offensive end. They're rolling early. Screen by Shengu. MP against Rogier. Lock at six. Shengun with the screen for MP. Another shot. Shengun, no good. Why didn't he just kick it out, bro? The touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Rogier. Almost, but it rolls out. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. We always see Terry Rozier going all out, don't we, Greg, to make an impact offensively. Kevin, I just love the way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender, but boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that end is off the charts. 
And it's the Hornets with the ball. Following the score by Houston. Here's Rozier. And it's Rozier again missing. Houston leading by 14. Here's Van Vliet. And that one drops for him. Come on, this guy is one tough hombre. Fred Van Vliet is somebody you want on your side. Here's Rozier. Charlotte no good that time either. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. They owes the Kings after this game. Young against Rozier. Young passes to Shengu. Ah! Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. And yes, it's good. We all know Terry Rozier can score the ball, but boy, showing the selflessness right there with that pass. I need wrist. with a big group substitution here. Checked in for Jock Landale. Young is subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Williams is checked in for Nick Richards. Miles Bridges comes in for P.J. Washington. Gordon Hayes Why you got me Josh Lamello, bro? Ball in for Cody Martin. Ball with the bucket. Now this is just a big time offensive performance from a young Lamello ball. He's already put the league on notice. The wings, Green and Brooks. Green is out there with Tari Eason. And it's Young in at point guard. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Boy, that's a backbreaker. Takes it right into the rim and extends their lead. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. And it's green. Missing. Charlotte has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Green against Rogier. Ball with a wide open look. Hayward. It's rebounded by Houston. 137 left in the game. Here's Brooks. Bridges with the board. Charlotte shooting 40% in the fourth. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout. A dominating performance for Houston. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I, I think most will try to forget. Ah, dang, this bro. This contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Smith. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. And the Rockets making a change here. Porter's checked in. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Nick Richards. He's checked in for Williams. E.J. Washington comes in for Bridges. Martin's checked in for Ogier. And Booknight comes in for Ball. And Green gets it to go. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Kept alive. Out to Bridges. Off target from three-point range. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Green with a screen on Rogier To the inside. And it's Green missing. It. 
So we see Houston taking the W here. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans <laughs> appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. The potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you later. Okay, that'll do it, man. That'll do it, man. Where is it? Can you look at the calendar? I wonder.
But anyway, let me get out of here, man. Oh boy. Well, that'll do for the day, man. That'll do for the day. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Until next time, man. Hit that like button. Oh, I got a I think I got a subscriber too. Thanks for the subscribe.